Lucinda, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks I'm for really, me. really excited that you're here. Um, I know we have a short time because you, you do have to leave earlier than, it's, than, than usually, than, um, you know, than we're running. We're here till midnight. <laughs> but, so we're gonna, we're gonna kind of run through this, but I, there's a lot of great information. There's a lot of insight that I want you to, sh to share with us. So let's just get to it. Um, let's start at the beginning. Where are you from? Where were you born? Where were you raised? I was born in Washington Heights, New York City. Hola! Santo Domingo. <laughs> and um, my parents are from, my dad's from Venezuela. Um, my mom's from Dominican Republic. And um, they were two people that met um, for, that both dis escaped political. At the time, it was my mother during the Trujillo. Um, and my dad, very similar. And they met in the Dominican Republic, went through Puerto Rico, that's kind of how you went, got through the US, and that was before um, it was easier to get into this country. <laughs> and they settled on, on 110th Street in Riverside Drive. And then later on had two children, my brother who was 10 and a half months older than me. Um, and we settled on 160th Street between Fort Washington and Riverside. What was that experience like? What were your influences then? You know, what, what, what's the world like at that point? Um, it was interesting because even though I was born in New York and in the US, Spanish was my first language. So I literally showed up in kindergarten. It's not like now where you put your three-year-old or your two-year-old in these private schools and you, you sign up and you go crazy. No, my parents just kind of threw me in school and I didn't speak any English. <laughs> And I just showed up. And um, so I remember always, if I had to use a theme in my life uh, through the time I was born till today, it's all about translations. It's really about translations. It's really trying to translate worlds that I'm trying to navigate. And um, that's a common theme in my life. So I was always either translating for my parents because they didn't speak um, English and at, and at a level that probably shouldn't be asked of a kid. Um, so I was used to that. So you're translating for your parents. You're trying to understand what a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is at school because no one ever gave you that. You've never eaten pancakes um, because you really, you know, you prefer um, avena or mangu. <laughs> <laughs> so just you're always translating. And then later on, in, in um, I went to Catholic school where um, it was... I was probably one of the only Latino kids among a lot of Irish kids because th that was kind of changing. And I went to private school and then I went to public school, which was com my parents could no longer afford to send me there. So then I went to public school and that was incredible. Like to be in a room with 3,000 people, um, mostly African American, Dominican, because um, I went to George Washington High School. And um, that was also an exercise in translations. And then from there, um, to have excelled in school because education was always, um, I was always taught that education was the key to success and that I had to study and if I studied I could have everything. And um, my parents were very clear about that. Even if they didn't speak English, they made sure you, you did your homework and when they helped you with your homework it was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really interesting when you're growing up and you're, <laughs> you're with, and at some point where you're younger than you should be, you start to believe you might be smarter than your parents, right. but you're not smarter than your right. parents. We, we know that, right? right? Of course. So that's an interesting dynamic because I look at my kids now and they can't beat me on nothing. <laughs> so, um, so it's just really different. It's a, it's a different. So translations. I'm going to use that as the theme through this conversation. 